welcome to Jeff's Baking Blog. As you can see, I'm still in Canada and today I'm going to be making some almond croissants. And for these, we're going to need some uh, puff pastry. And uh, it's quite time consuming and I've shown you how to do it in the past, but I'm going to do it again for this recipe, but you can jump over um, through that part if you know how to do that. And the puff pastry is going to have yeast in it as well. And so uh, it will rise a little bit as it's um, proving. And the ingredients for that are uh, 500 grams, which is four cups of um, all purpose flour, plain flour, or you could use uh, bread flour, 300 milliliters of cool water, um, which is uh, one cup and uh, a quarter of a cup minus one table, t one dessert spoon, uh, 10 grams, two teaspoons of salt, and um, 10 grams of uh, instant yeast. That's one packet or almost a packet and a half of instant yeast. So the first thing I'm going to do, I sorry, I also have 300 grams of butter, but I will show you that later on. Um, first thing I'm going to do is to put the flour into my uh, stand mixer. And I'm going to put the salt on one side and the yeast on the other side. And then I'm going to pour the water in. And I'm going to mix this on a slow speed for two minutes and then on medium speed for six minutes until I have a nice dough. So that dough has mixed nicely and what I'm going to do is I'm going to just tip that out onto a lightly floured work surface like that. And then I'm going to just form it into a ball, just like that. And I'm going to flour the bottom. And then I'm going to put that into um, a plastic bag. You could put it into a bowl and cover it with cling film, but I'm gonna put it into a um, plastic bag And I'm going to put that into the fridge for one hour. Now, uh, during that hour, if, if I hadn't already done it, I would need to take my 300 grams of butter and I need to make it into a shape like this, which is um, 40 centimeters by 19, that's 16 inches by seven and a half inches. 
and I want this batter to be cold so hence um, I actually shaped it while it was a little bit soft and then um, I've put it in the fridge to chill so this will go into the fridge again and uh, wait to the hour while our dough is proofing and then when it's ready uh, after that one hour I'll come back and we'll do the first of the rolling out so our dough has risen um, in the fridge and it's nice and chilled uh, for one hour so the next thing I have to do is to roll this out um, to a rectangle of um, 60 centimetres, 24 inches by 19 centimetres, uh, seven and a half inches. And then I'm going to put the butter into it. And as you can see, it's got air in it. So I'm just going to knock that air out a little bit. So that's actually just about right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the butter out of the paper. That's fine. It doesn't matter if it breaks like that because it will all come back together again. So that butter is just about covering two thirds of the pastry. So what I'm going to do is take this end and I'm going to pull that up like that. Until it covers. the butter and then I'm going to fold this one down on top make sure that the butter is all enclosed like that pinching the sides together And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to put that back into my bag and I'm going to chill it again for an hour. And then after an hour, we will, uh, the dough and the butter should be at the same temperature and we can roll it out for the first time. We have to roll it out three times in all, but we'll do the first turn and then I'll tell you about the remaining turns. So I'll be back with you in one hour when this is chilled again. So it's been an hour and I've chilled the uh, pastry with the butter in it. And what we've got to do is roll it out to the same size again, or roughly the same size, 60 centimetres by 20 centimetres. So 24 inches by eight inches. Um, if you don't get it exact, it doesn't matter too much. But what we're going to do is roll that out and then fold it into thirds. So I have the open ends facing me and facing away from me from 
before when I folded over the three sides it went up and down so now I'm turn that round like that and I'm going to roll it and the butter should have firmed up again and the pastry is nice and cold and I have uh, floured the work surface but I'll put a little bit more flour on because we don't want anything sticking so that's rolled out and what I'm going to do is I'm going to fold that up like that brushing off the excess flour and fold the other top down the same as we did before like that and then I'm going to put that that's called the first turn I'm going to put it into the fridge and chill it for an hour then I'll take it out and I will lay it in like that again so we have the open ends facing away and facing towards me like that and I will roll it out exactly the same again 60 by 20 that would be and fold it up again the same way that would be the second turn then I'm going to chill it again for another hour and roll it out exactly the same again and that will be the third turn when I folded it up then I'm putting it back into the bag and I'm going to chill it for at least eight hours and then um, I don't need to show you that because it's the same process all the time so uh, when I come back the next time I will make uh, the almond paste ready for the croissants so when I come back the next time um, we will be ready to roll everything out and assemble our pastries So I'll be back with you when this is ready to create the pastries. Well, it's the next day now um, and our dough has been resting in the fridge overnight. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to make some almond paste to go into the croissants. Now, uh, I'm actually making two videos at the same time. So half of my dough is going to be for croissants and the other half is going to be for pan au chocolat uh, so I would do that a bit separately so for the croissants um, I'm using half the amount that you would need to make 12 if you use the whole recipe so in my recipe on my blog I will give the the amounts to use the whole dough for croissants and uh, the, the almond paste necessary so I'm going to use 50 grams which is about two-fifths of a cup of icing sugar and 50 grams which is about a half a cup of um, almond flour or ground almonds and I'm just going to mix those together so for the full recipe you would want 100 grams of each four-fifths of a cup um, um, or one, uh, of icing sugar and one cup of almond flour now into that I'm actually going to pour just about half a teaspoon of water and maybe about a teaspoon of egg white. Now I've split an egg between white and yolk. I'm going to put them back together for the um, egg wash that we will use later so I'm going to mix this around and add more liquid as necessary until it comes into a paste
So I'm just pressing with the back of the spoon to get that mixed in. Now I don't want to add too much liquid to it. And that probably actually looks as though it's enough liquid. So I'm actually going to give that a bit of a squeeze. So that's worked into a nice paste. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to just put that in the fridge for the time being while we roll out the pastry. So I have the pastry for our croissants out of the fridge. Um, it's rested for quite a while. I have a couple of little lumps of butter in it still, so maybe my butter was just a little bit too hard, but I think it should still work okay by the time I've rolled it out. Um, and this will make 12 croissants, and I'm going to roll that out to a rectangle of 42 centimetres, which is uh, about 17 inches by 36 centimetres, which is... Uh, 14 inches, 13 inches, 13 to 14 inches, and then I'm going to uh, cut it lengthways into two, and one half will be six croissants, the other half will be another six croissants. Yeah. So the first thing to do is to roll our dough out. So then I'm going to cut that in half lengthwise and I'm actually going to take half of it away for the time being. And then with this half, I'm going to divide that into triangles, which are about 12 centimetres wide. So what I'm going to do is, um, having marked off 12 centimetres there and 12 centimetres here, I'm going to take that one and cut down like that. And like that.
And of course, you don't have to be as precise as I am. Being, I am being, not I am. So you could actually, with these offcuts, do more. I'm going to put them to the side for the time being. So that gives me six of my triangles. And I'll just put them to the side so I can work on one at a time. Triangles, I'm just going to put a little slit in the centre like that and pull it apart a little bit and I'm going to stretch the dough out just a bit and I can roll that a little bit flatter like that and then I'm going to take one sixth of the pastry of the almond paste and I'm going to form that into a sausage now I should say that you could put some almond extract in the almond paste just a little bit which will give extra flavour and I'm going to put that sausage just on the edge, I don't want it to poke out, so it's shorter than the, the width of the pastry that it's being put on. So I'll just roll that up. Like that. And then, with it rolled up, make sure the seam is on the underside, I'm going to shape that into a croissant just like that and then I'm going to put that onto my baking tray so uh, there are the six croissants rolled out and filled with the almonds almond paste so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put those to one side and I'm going to cover them with a, a tea, damp tea towel and I'm going to allow them to rise until they've just about doubled in size. That's going to take between one and two hours. Um, and uh, once they've doubled in size, I'm going to egg wash them and put some flaked almonds on top. Uh, so I'll do that uh, in a couple of hours time. But while that's happening, um, I'm going to preheat my oven to 200 Celsius. That's 180 Celsius with a fan, 400 Fahrenheit, ready to bake these. So the croissants have uh, doubled in size, or as much as they're going to. Um, so I'm going to take some egg, which has got some pinch of salt in it, and I'm just going to brush over each one. And my oven is preheated. Mentioned, but with the croissants, um, egg washed, I'm actually going to sprinkle on the top just a few little um, flaked or shaved or slivered almonds. So they'll go into the oven and then I'll be back when they've baked and cooled down. Of almond paste in there.
Well, I can taste the almond. I could have put slightly more. Um, I could have put the almond extract in to make them slightly more flavourful, but I quite well, like that, I have to say. I can't taste that it's actually almond, but I understand if you, if you added that almond essence in it, it would make it more very crispy, very buttery, mm. and quite flaky. I, I don't shield any, it from dropping because I do the vacuuming, so I, that's fine. I get moaned out. I can use a plate. Hmm. Oh, I do like that. They are very delicious. Now, I would say the bakers degree of difficulty it's quite difficult this is over a period of some time that it's taken to do this right yep i wouldn't do it because i couldn't i couldn't tackle it but they taste absolutely delicious good so, so that's going to oh no, go ahead because i was going to say that's going to be it for this recipe i hope you've enjoyed it and if you have please give me the thumbs up below the video and click to subscribe to my youtube channel in the top right hand corner of the screen there will be an eye that you can click on which will take you to the recipe and I'll also put a link to it below the video as well. Then I'll be back with another recipe in the very near future. So until then, happy baking. And bye bye from Canada. Very hot here today. Not a day for baking. Bye bye.